All right, my husband took the kids out of the house. The baby's asleep in the swing. Let's do this. It's been forever. Hi guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. I am um, in my closet and there's atrocious lighting. I may or may not figure this out anytime soon um, because I don't feel like I'm gonna be making enough videos that I need to set up a dedicated filming space like I've had previously when I was making stuff twice a week. Um, so this is what we've got for today, but I wanted to do a flip through video of where we've been since I last updated you. Um, that was about, what was it? Like the day before we closed on our house. So in September, um, I'm filming this now mid January. Um, and I'm actually going to be making some changes going from like dailies to a weekly spread. I've been doing that this week. And so I wanted to get rid of a lot of pages in here, but I want to show them to you first. Um, I'm still in the personal size because I haven't had the time or inclination to, uh, want to set up anything new. It's been a busy time in my life. If you haven't been keeping track of community posts and stuff, um, we had a baby, we moved, um, and we've been homeschooling this year, so it's just been a lot. Uh, we're busy. So I have not been doing a lot of decorating. So this is going to be a very functional planner flip through. Um, I also haven't had the time to like clean out stuff in here. I have, I really don't need this because there's no gift card in here. This is something my daughter made in class and uh, something she made for me. See, there's a lot of like art from my kids. Um, and so that kind of gets tucked in here. And they give it to me. Don't need this either. See, this is even probably something that, yeah, one of my girls colored for me. And then it got stuck in here. And we've all forgotten about it, but if I were to throw it away, they'd get mad at me. If they knew about it. Um, oh, I didn't mention, this is a Fuzjosma personal size. Um, sometimes called A6, but it's personal size. So it's like six and three quarters by three and three quarters. Um, Ring planner. I was given this for free for review way back um, and have been using it for the last year or so, a little bit less. Um, the back pocket here has some blood pressure readings because it's the other thing that happened is five days postpartum, I got readmitted for preeclampsia. So that was scary. Um, but this thing here, I don't know. I, I found this once on like TikTok or something. I mean, I don't use TikTok, but you know what I mean? Um, actually, I think it was Facebook before TikTok existed. Anyway, the point is you cut this slit in here and you can actually fold up a piece of paper into a little notebook. So I've been using this to keep track of my weekly readings. Like I, every week I send my blood pressure readings to the doctor um, and we're finally gonna quit the meds and see what happens. I think it should be fine, um, but they've just been a little bit cautious, which is good. I think this is another picture from my daughter's. So I've been keeping that in here. All right, let's start. Um, as always, all the plastic stuff in here, the tabs and this fly leaf are from Marlene's Plan to Create. These pockets and stuff in the back are, um, I, I don't know, from Amazon or Etsy or I don't know where they came from. Uh, it doesn't matter. And these um, acetates, I printed myself with some free, um, what's it called? Scrapbook, like digital scrapbook paper. And they're just uh, overhead transparency sheets. So there you go. Uh, so this is 2023's uh, 52 week uh, future log. Insert number 20, no 52 from my shop. That makes it easy. Um, and so I can pull that out. And here's 2024's. I like to use this to see upcoming busy periods of time. So you can see different things here that were coming up that I needed to plan for. Um, and sometimes I'll dedicate a week to a particular project. I'm so sorry about these shadows. Um, and so I printed one out for 2024. I haven't started using it yet, but I do have things I'm busy working on. Then I've got like to-do lists up front here. This one is sort of categorized and I haven't been looking at this one. So this was something I came up with a bit ago, uh, post move, but pre baby, I think. Um, sort of like when I could get it done so I could say, okay, well right now, oh no, that's not when it was, this is different categories of things. I was gonna have one that was like when this baby's napping or whatever. Um, this is another way to categorize to-dos. I haven't used it, but I have in the past, which is called the Einstein, is that, no, that's, that's not right. Eisenhower, sorry. Eisenhower matrix, completely different people. Um, urgent, not urgent, important, not important. So you prioritize this stuff. 
then this is just like a brain dump. So this is actually just the list I've been going off of lately. I have a lot of different things around the house, little projects, and I'm actually finding small periods of time to be productive. Um, now I'm six weeks postpartum. Um, my husband's still on leave and we did start back up in school this week, but even with our school schedule, um, I'm able to find a window in the morning when the baby's napping and the kids are occupied to do either some just cleaning up keep or actually work on like a, a household, or, household organizational project. This insert 50, no, sorry, 63. I also have last year's and this year's because I'm moving stuff from things I did in December to the last time I did them in January. That's what this is, recurring tasks that I do on a periodic basis, things like changing out sheets, you know, refilling the rinse aid and the dishwasher. This is a Peanuts Planner Coat insert, um, which is called Goal Planning, um, and I use this for smaller projects. And I think I finished all of these so I can take this one out. A lot of things that were like after we moved, I started using this again. Um, I hadn't been using it for a little while, but like I wanted to try to get some stuff plan done in, a, in advance of Christmas, um, like before the baby came. Fortunately, my husband was a huge help with, um, with the Christmas shopping. He took on a lot of the like mental load of that. I uh, don't need the pool schedule or the, con well, the confession schedule is useful. Oh yeah, I was going to make a cleaning chore schedule and I did that. I can get rid of a lot of this stuff in here after I filmed. I have all of my monthlies in here from last year. I'm going to have so much room on these rings, man. All right. September was when I moved into, is that right? Or maybe, no, that was the last time I filmed. So that was what I've left in here is everything since the last flip through. So I've been using this insert 14, which is the dated monthlies. So these are all um, available up through 2024 in my shop now. Um, if you are looking for something for the new year and you haven't done that yet, I like that it has like a weekly, um, to-do list here. So you can see here is, you know, the week, Monday through Sunday, and these are the things I want to try to get done that week. So I put a lot of the stuff from this recurring task list, uh, again, show you where I just was, this one, on here. So you can see I haven't been decorating at all. Um, I had a couple notations of like some friends were going to be in town. Um, this is when people were bringing uh, meal train meals. These are the people I wanted to tell that the baby came. And then that's the end of 2023 and then 2024 starts here. So you can see I have things here in these weekly to-do uh, to list sections that are from that and then anything that comes up, but mostly it's stuff from that recurring list. So I don't have to keep looking at that and deciphering it. I decipher it once or twice a month and then move things here. Uh, and then this is a general to-do list and then there's no space. So I have these in here all the way through the end of the year so I can put things in. And then there's a far future law, which is anything that's beyond this year. Um, and that hasn't been reprinted. You can see there's a 2024 date in here. I should probably cross it out because I've moved it already to the monthly. But anyway, this is things that'll happen like in the next couple of spaces. Like, so there's somewhere to put it. Um, this is a freebie from the shop if you want to download it. Things are also available for print, by the way, if you don't want to print it yourself. I will do that for you. I will make time in my schedule to ship you out inserts if you pay me a little money to do that. So, um, anyway, but the freebies, you still have to pay to have it done. That's the that way that works. But you can download them and print them yourself absolutely free. This is the USACB, so U.S. Holy Days. Um, and feast day dates. So I use this. It is only useful if you're a Catholic in the U.S., but since I am that and I was making it for myself, here you go. Um, this is insert 55, which is birthdays and anniversaries. Um, I was just looking up my baby's saint feast day, and I don't think I put it in here. Anyway, I like that I don't have to remake this every year. That's the, the benefit of it is you put the year, um, something happened like I a aunt just passed away so I was gonna put her death anniversary there it is 2024 um, obviously my baby was born in December 2023 um, and then I could just do the math if I need to know how old somebody is but. this next section has dailies which I was using um, I'll show you here these are some spare ones so I know where they are if I need like a blank printed one a lot of all these are from my shop um, here's one I used on a day that I think I had, it was a Saturday, yeah, I think my husband took the kids to a, um, a men's group that has childcare, um, so the benefit is the men get some formation and then the women get the house to themselves, so I got some stuff done, and I was trying to, like, 
uh, keep track of like when I was feeding the baby and changing diapers and so that I like I knew that I would feel unproductive if the baby didn't let me get stuff done so I was like I'm gonna put everything I got done so that I can look back and feel productive anyway this one I finally got a chance to use um, this was a, an insert from Peanuts Planner Co. also that I downloaded once when I had some extra peanut points. Um, and I, um, was just feeling really down about the state of the house that day. And I was like, what, December 29th? Okay, so it was after, oh yeah, it was after Christmas. You know how that goes. And then I was four weeks postpartum or something and, you know, things had gotten on top of me and I was letting it get myself down. And so I decided, you know what, like... <laughs> It will not be like this forever. You don't have to do it all today. <laughs> I was giving myself some affirmations and I felt like this journaling daily was something I finally had a time to need and remembered that it was there. So that's what I used. I just got some, a couple of things done, um, setting just like three goals for myself. I, you'll see that recur actually in this last week's weekly, which I will get to eventually. Um, so this is what I've been doing for my dailies for a while now. You can see just a standard like classic Bujo daily rapid logging style. Um, so this was back in September, October when we're moving. It's just, you know, some days are big, some days are small, some days I don't do anything. Um, I made a sort of sticky note of things I wanted to do cleaning the house every day. I was starting to come out of the immediate packing phase into the let's not let it get to be a mess phase. <laughs> And you can see here, ooh, we fit another daily in the side here. And then this is where I was like, oh, brilliant idea. So it's kind of a weekly, kind of a daily. It's very, very low maintenance. And I didn't draw a single thing. I had a highlighter to highlight the days of the, you know, the, the headers. So on Friday, I set out my Friday. And then I also wrote the headers for Saturday, Sunday, and I, for next week, if there's anything that came up. And I only came up with one thing. Um, and so that's what I've been doing is four columns. And so I'll do like all the way across. And then once I finish Friday, I put the next day there. So I put Monday, then I finish Saturday, I put Tuesday here. And then whenever you get the bottom, you just, so I had four going at a time, like the current day and the next couple days. So I could put things on tomorrow's, I could plan things ahead, see what was coming up on the immediate horizon. It worked really well. Um, so that's here again. This was a daily for a day that, oh, it was the day before we were leaving for Christmas. So I had a lot that I wanted to get done. Um, and then, yeah, again, more here we have, oh, I had a, a habit tracker. Oh, cause this was induction stuff, um, that I was like, I was, we came back from Thanksgiving. So it was, it was Thanksgiving I was packing for. Um, and I was like, okay, now it's time to have the baby. So let's do the red raspberry leaf tea. I did the miles circuit like twice before the baby came, maybe only once. I was like, you know what? Whatever. And I ended up being induced at 40 weeks and two days due to hypertension. Um, this is the video y'all voted for, so I'm not doing that birth story today because I haven't brushed my hair. Um, oh, this was the prototype for, we'll get to it later, but this is the actual cleaning schedule that I ended up making for myself because I felt the motivation. And then as of September, no, January 13th, September, January 13th. I'm like, okay, I'm ready for something different because I had been flipping back and forth between dailies and weeklies, which I will show you next. So right now I just have a lot of blank grid paper, which is fine. Um, here's the weeklies. So I was using these in, in tandem with the dailies and flipping back and forth between these two tabs. Um, so here is the one I've been using this since at least, I, th I think I had set this up at the beginning of when I did the last flip through. Maybe I'll just do a flip through whenever I change weeklies. Um, this is insert 69 and it's on one page. So I was also doing a two page per week spread in my homeschooling planner, which I'll have to do a separate video about someday. Um, anyway, so I have a to-do list with like a, you know, checklist here, which as you can see, I was putting stuff on my dailies, so it ended up feeling less and less useful. Events up here, and then down here, I keep track of dinner, and then I had done, but then I actually started using it for my journal prompts. I have like a one line a day journal that I I fill out every like week or so. So if I can put like a little note of what we did that day or what I'd like to journal about, then that makes it so much easier. I don't have to go digging through all of my pictures and my texts and my planner pages to find things to um to journal about so here's christmas i decided to 
Okay, let's start incorporating a little bit of, um, what's it called? <sighs> Washi tape. But yeah, I was using a highlighter, at least for these headers. Um, little washi tape, fun. And then I was like, I ran out of these pages and I'm like, I could either print more or I could do something different. So that's what we're doing is something different. This is actually, uh, insert 66, the same two week spread that I was just telling you about in my homeschool planner. Um, and there I use these sections for like what we're doing for each subject for each day kind of stuff. And then I'll up here, I'll put the days that we're, the days that we do reading and the days we don't do reading, the days we have co-op and everything events up here and subjects and all that. But right now here I have dinner and journal still haven't decided what to do with this section. A to do list, which is where I'm pulling things from to put onto these like top three. I'm using this for a top three just that I would come back to. Yeah. So a top three tasks uh, here. I ended up doing this on this day. So it got an arrow. Um, this I didn't finish, but I kind of, I did part of, so I'm not sure how I'm going to mark that off. And today I didn't finish writing my tasks, but I was going to put film video. Almost didn't, because I also want to try to mop. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. And then I have to try to finish, fix my daughter's church shoe before tomorrow morning, because she's feeling that and I haven't done it yet. And then this is next week, so we have the baptism next Saturday. So again, like things are busy, things happen and are busy and we're planning for them. So that's the planning. Then uh, the next tab is meal planning. I haven't been doing it in here as much. For one thing, you saw those um, meal train meals that were coming in. People very generously have fed us for the entire month of December. And only this week have I had to do like an actual meal plan and shopping list. All of the food that I have ingredients for, um, it's in here right now because I was making my list and used this while I was making my grocery list. But I've started putting them up on the family wall calendar, which is also our school calendar, but it's in the kitchen. So I'm able to see that. I'm able to tell Gino that it's there. I don't know if he ever looks at it, but I can keep reminding him it's there until he remembers to look at it. But it's just easier than having to pull this out and then it's accessible to everybody and I can just erase the things that we've cooked and then I know that it's getting short. We need to do another meal plan. But I'm going to hang on to this one um, and maybe even put a star on it because everything on this list is relatively shelf stable. Um, this one was, the, oh, the tortillas can go stale and this one is that the cheese can go bad. Yeah, everything else is either in the freezer or in the pantry or well okay also like this one has heavy cream but that lasts forever because it's um ultra pasteurized anyway i have one more in here and then all of the old ones that i've been using for forever they don't have dates on them but i like to be able to go back and see what we've made and remind myself of meals that we've actually made instead of just looking through my um, recipe binder which has everything I know how to make not just everything that we have been making it just helps I don't know the next tab here is like a projects tab and the main project is these articles I freelance uh, write some articles for a newspaper um, and so this is 2020 oh it's all it's only this year's okay so we ha I already have my dates um, assigned so as I have the topics figured out I put those here um so the circle date is the due date and then the highlighted date is the publishing date um and so I have to work on this one next and also have some more topics to pick but this also having it in here reminds me to look at the collaborative sheet we have for everybody else who's doing it because there's like a group of four of us rotating weekly um insert ideas oh yeah I wrote these down forever ago these are some ideas I have for making inserts for the shop because I need to make more um, and if you guys have any ideas after seeing this if you like my style and you want something specific do drop a comment I would be happy to prioritize that for you this tab here goes on my main project which right now is the baptism uh, reception which we're gonna have at our house and have it kind of like an open house or like a what's it called housewarming thing for a couple of friends too so you have to clean um, and we have to work on the menus. That's really the big thing. Um, we didn't invite gobs of people, so I'm not as worried about the RSVPs as I was. Um, so there's just a couple of pages in here to use for that. And then this tab didn't really have a, a need 
So I am putting my new cleaning schedule. I went ahead and printed it out on cardstock. I was gonna laminate it, but then I accidentally cut it first. Uh, anyway, and I've been using these sticky tabs as like a highlighter tab to show what part of the um, schedule I'm on. So the idea of how this works, if anyone cares, looking at making a, a schedule, and this doesn't necessarily happen, but this is the stuff I wanna do every day. Um, and this is the stuff I want to do once a week is mop a room and then pick a room to like focus on like cleaning things like appliances or whatever and then declutter or organize something once a week and so that room is this and the bathrooms is this so this is the part I like the best I'd say is that once a day I do something in the bathrooms so yesterday I cleaned the toilet oh no I cleaned the sinks encounters the day before that I cleaned the toilet bowls and the day before that I wiped the outside of the toilet so it's just like on a rotation I decided to throw cleaning the floors and the tubs in here and that might be the downfall of it because it's going to get stuck there and then the toilets will never get clean but I also feel like I don't need to clean the toilet every three days I don't know maybe I should um anyway and I might skip mirror day today and do the floors like I said I want to try to mop so if the baby's still asleep when I'm done filming that is what we're doing um and then i got stuck on the dining room i was going to move to this so it was like the idea of this rotation is mop the kitchen and vacuum the living room on that week then do the dining room then do the living room then come back to the kitchen dining room then hallway then kitchen dining room bathrooms kitchen dining room playroom like that so one two three one two three so that these rooms don't need to be mopped as often they probably don't need to get deep cleaned as often either. It's the kitchen that really needs like the cleaning because it has all of the surfaces and all of the appliances and stuff. The dining also means sort of living area because the, yeah. Because I don't need to mop the living room because it's mostly, I don't know. I It's a prototype. It's a prototype. So I'll probably fix it and tweak it and live with it for a month or two. Tweak it, maybe eliminate it next time. And then we just have some sticky notes. These ones, marbly ones are from Peanuts Planner Co. You saw a daily one earlier. These are just normal stickies. Um, and oh, this is my notes on which order I'm going to mop the floors on in. And then this is an extra insert 52. And then I have like a spare check and more of these tabs. And I always keep a nail file with me. And then this is another picture. Uh, if you can tell, that's my melody from um, Sanrio. My daughter drew that for me. And I've been using a Pilot G2 in 038. There you go. And that is all of it. I'm going to spend some time later taking out all those inserts that are obsolete. And this is going to feel super lightweight. Um, it's not like super stuffed, but as you can see, it was getting difficult to turn at the beginning. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I, yeah, like I said, probably won't prioritize filming a flip through until I change something. Um, and then I'll give you kind of a recap. But I will see if I can do a video about um, my homeschooling planner and how that has been going. Homeschooling has been going for the last while, this, this year, this school year. Um, and I can make a birth story video also if you want to hear about my experience. Um, like I said, I had postpartum preeclampsia, which was very scary. Um, so drop down below in comments which of those you would prefer. Um, and I will see you guys whenever that next video is. Have a great day and um, happy new year. Bye.